Guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm very happy weekend to all the Bangladeshis who are, uh, you know, enjoying their rest in the weekends. Hopefully, everybody's sleeping nicely. So I woke up quite early today, had nice breakfast, tea, in a good mood. So I was going to do actually a fragrance review, individual review. Then I thought like, no, I haven't done this list for some time. Let me put up a fun list. So as you can see from title, it's going to be 15 of my favorite uh, masculine fragrances. And I have done this list a couple of times before, like uh, this year also earlier I did, I think. But I'm just updating uh, based on what I have right now, how much I wear them, how much I like them, and how much I think like these fragrances evoke the manliness, you know. Uh, there are a lot of other fragrances gonna miss out definitely you cannot put 100 fragrances in 15 right so uh, remember that these are my favorites of course you can try them these are just suggestions of absolutely not uh, like the top test top 10 or top 15 best ever so fragrance acquired taste we just give our suggestion another thing is this fragrance is by no means like women cannot wear of course anybody like anything they can wear I think I believe there's one fragrance or two fragrances in this list in top five that are loved by women throughout the world. So remember that this is a fun list and this fragrance I feel uh, evoke manliness. You know these I imagine like a manly man sort of a vibe when I sniff this or smell this on other men passing by or even on me. Right. So remember those. So without any uh, like honorable mentions I'm going to go my first one. Uh, number 15 I'm gonna start with a fragrance that I do not wear that much anymore but I think this fragrance has great barbershoppy green sort of a fougier feel at the same time it has vanilla a lot of greenery in this and this fragrance is very much like a powerhouse uh, this fragrance kind of has a father figure sort of uh, appeal if you like that kind of fragrance definitely I highly recommend this this is one of one of my signature scents this is Paco Rabanne Purum as you can see the green bottle this is my first uh, suggestion this fragrance really gives you a lot of confidence it has great performance I would suggest this wearing in a cool day you'll see the magic of it you know it's very beautiful uh, green vanilla sort of fragrance Paco Rabanne Purum number 15 number 14 is a fragrance it's really bold it cannot be pulled off in summer's day like hot days you can wear it in rainy nights cooler nights but this fragrance is all about winter you wear this, you know this smells like authority. This fragrance is literally one of the best Chanel ever produced. I would say Chanel Antheas. It's a god-like fragrance, okay? The only reason it's so down in the order is that I haven't worn it enough, but I can definitely appreciate the sex appeal that this fragrance really offer. It's really amazing. It's dark. It's a uh, full. It's a uh, lovely. It's posh. I would say it's posh. You know, a lot of fragrances, they have animalic nature but they do not quite have the you know the blend is so smooth sometimes they are overbearing so that makes it unwearable this fragrance is pretty wearable very handsome and can be a signature scent for a man chanel antias number 14. number 13 bulgari man in black why is this fragrance here because of the spices this has spices rum leather all the right elements in it and there is also tuberose but the tuberose doesn't make uh, like this fragrance any feminine it's really one of my most reached fragrance in my uh, like four or five years of journey this is one of the fragrance i really love i think this fragrance is uber masculine okay and it's very sexy women love this on men especially the boozy note it's really lovely bulgari men in black number 13. number 12 tear de hermes this fragrance you do not need an introduction this is a very bold statement jean-claude elena's masterpiece as well as this fragrance has beast mode performance it has this bitter orange feel and the earthy vetiver so basically this fragrance it's a kind of like a powdery side as well beautiful bottle but if you actually give it a time give it some time it will grow on you and this fragrance is all about understanding the complexity of men's fragrance game one of the classics Terre d'Hermes number 12. okay number 11 is a fragrance this is the fragrance that made me want to do this list i reviewed it yesterday and i'm showing you once again dolce Gabbana purom for men okay Purum actually is for men this is basically what you get in short is a uh, kind of like Italian lemon opening then it goes slowly towards lavender and that kind of evokes uh, the feel of uh, tobacco it has tonka tobacco uh, lemon as well as a lot of pepper in it this fragrance is very masculine when you smell it it smells like a very confident man it's a great signature scent and if you can get the made in France version it's the best offering currently of this particular fragrance do not buy the made in uk one that one is kind of harsh so dutch and gabbana purum okay 
So I believe uh, five are gone. Now I'm going to go to number 10, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, number 10. This is one fragrance I think it's one of the most unique offerings in the market. If you do enjoy orange up top and you get like a like lot of incense and pepper blast, this is a fragrance you should definitely, it's a bold fragrance if you want to go unique in the crowd. I also, I would say it's nighttime, cold weather fragrance, but trust me, it's a hidden gem. This fragrance is called Zadigan Voltaire. This is him. Beautiful bottle. It has two pieces, one for women, one for men. So the other women, one if you put together, that completes the piece. So this fragrance is very, very long lasting as well. If you smell this on other people, you really love it. At first, it may seem to you it's not that strong enough, but give it more wearings, you'll see. Zadigan Voltaire, this is him. Number 10. Number nine is a fragrance, uh, kind of like uh, I'm putting two fragrances together because they're basically the same, just EDT and EDP. So these are like Jaipur, Boucheron, okay? Boucheron, Jaipur, or uh, <laughs> uh, Jaipur from the house of Boucheron, okay? So Boucheron, basically, they make, just like Bulgari, they make ornaments, you know, showpiece, stuff like that, and they have beautiful jewelry. But these fragrances, you gotta smell them. This is not for everybody. This is very spicy, kind of like vanilla, on the dry down but it smells so darn sexy they last a lifetime and these are great wearings for i would say little bit grown-up men so when you smell this on the people you definitely can appreciate let me smell one i actually first time i sniffed these fragrances i thought these are immediately this and pure malt really took me away but pure malt is not in the list today Boucheron jaipur is so if you're looking for something like a manly man masculine fragrance this is definitely worth a try and not very expensive as well. Okay, Boucheron, Jaipur, number eight. Sorry, number nine. <laughs> Losing track already, number eight. I have to put this in this list because this is my list. Daniel's Icon. Uh, not just the bottle is heavy, the fragrance smells very, very sexy, manly. It's fresh. At the same time, it has some uh, winter element as well. So basically, people say this is a more modern version of Terre d'Hermes. I do not really see any correlation between the two. This one I get neroli, pepper, I get a lot of, uh, kind of like a leather, and a lot of pepper actually. When I smell it for the first time, I really, really thought this is a unique offering. Like, there's nothing like this in the market. People might argue, but this remains one of the most masculine fragrances I ever smelled. Really sexy, and really one of the best offerings from House of Daniel. Daniel Icon, number eight, yes. Number seven. Number seven is another masculine fragrance. Bentley for Man Intense. I have reviewed this so many times, talked about it so many times, no need to discuss this anymore. Basically booze, woody, and leather. If you like those notes, definitely try it. And I think it has sandalwood. Not quite sure, but it really is gutsy. Reminds me a little bit of Gucci Guilty Absolute, but this is better in terms of smell, but not everybody can pull it off. But then again, really masculine, manly fragrance. Okay, Bentley for many intent. Next. All right. Eight. Seven. Number six, I think we have six left, yeah. Number six is this fragrance. This is the reason Pure Malt didn't make the list. I thought about it, Pure Malt or this, Pure Malt or this. But Pure Malt has a sweetness, kind of like whiskey vibe, that whiskey is like, you know, taken by both genders. So I think Pure Heaven, cigars. Cigars is a very manly masculine thing, you know, like I'm again not trying to be biased. I'm not trying to be uh, kind to, like trying to suggest that this is only, sh this should be only worn by men. I think women can rock it, but I think I can smell this. It's a Cuban Havana cigar. Every time you smell it, you know, winter or summer, this fragrance always remains like a unique fragrance. There's nothing close to this quality. I smelled uh, Naxos. I like this better. <laughs> it's just me. So pure heaven, number six. <clears throat> number five is going to really surprise you. Seeing all those fragrances, this is going to surprise you. Versace Porom. Why is this in this... In whole list of darkness strong pepper masculinity why is this considered masculine in my world this is considered masculine because when i sniff it on me in the air every time you know uh, i would not say 60 percent time of 60 uh, percent of all times out of 100 percent whatever is that saying uh 60 percent of 100 times screw it <laughs> this fragrance really works this is a staple in men's shelf you know if you're on the summer's day Hot summer's day if you're looking for a signature scent this is versace's signature it has nearly a lot of citrus lemon aquatic properties got musk florals but it never at any point smell like a feminine or metrosexual fragrance to me 
it's uber uber masculine despite being fresh that's what's great about versace puro this is my number five and number four ch man Privé. ch man Privé is such a great fragrance booze leather and i think there's some exotic fruity note in it makes it very sweet but at the same time that leather and the booze it makes it like smell like whiskey on you perhaps this another fragrance that's the reason pure malt didn't make the list because this one got me a lot more compliments than pure malt pure malt i wear it for myself this fragrance i would wear when i want compliments this is a compliment beast just wear it in the winter time and try to get like a first initial batches like first two years before reformulation this is really still great but the newer version kind of weak this one for the first two hours you're gonna get like notice from everywhere when the weather is cold ch man preview number four number three aqua Gigi essenza this is discontinued now very hard to find as you can see my bottle is almost finished um this i don't know i reviewed it long time ago and i really felt this was the best of the line despite the fact that a lot of other newer flankers are out now and i still feel the same way about this fragrance perfume is great special blend is great they have a lot of other aqua DJ absolute and original aqua DJ, but this is the best form this fragrance can take this is really clean more spicy kind of floral at the same time but it remains very very masculine just like uh, versace puro this is another classic okay if you can find a 75 or 180 ml bottle even better get it in your collection when you grow up perhaps this can easily remain as one of your signature scents aqua DJ essence number three okay number two and number one these are the two fragrances i was talking about that it surprised me shocked me you know uh, i saw in one group uh, someone said i think fragrances are unisex by nature which i do agree to but i really felt like not all fragrances can be pulled off by women or they wouldn't rather wear some animal like powerhouse fragrances but i was wrong someone said she rocks gross a lot and someone said one of my friend uh emily Zip, she said she loves the next one was the next one <laughs> this is interlude man by amouage okay i could have put epic man in this list because i love that one and this one equally but the reason being this is number two i worn it a lot more i loved it for a very very long time and every time i sniff it no matter how many clones i sniff of this then nothing comes close to this guys you know this is animal but at the same time it's a blue beast but at the same time it's kind of like classy i don't know it's just never like scares people i don't find the animal equality about it it's just so lovely uh, but you really have to love your strong leather incense smoky kind of fragrances uh, to appreciate it it has great um, like features of a fragrance that really defines a man for me but emily said she equally loves it so respect to her and all the ladies will wear this so this is emoji dalud man number two number one what else it can be i'll renamed it kuros this is a fragrance i said when the guy said it's a unisex like fragrance unisex i said i don't think any women would wear or want to wear kuros on them and i was wrong one lady said she loves kuros and she likes the vintage version of it some more animal -like. uh, this is popularly known in the community as urinal cake <laughs> like a pc smell but since the day one there's something dirty and clean about this fragrance and i just absolutely love it i don't have a vintage i have this if someday i can find a vintage i'll buy it for sure every time you wear this the best thing you wear it and you enter a room filled with a lot of people wearing cologne and stuff like that it destroys everybody's fragrance and it's just like the king it's like a lion and it just sits right on top of everything else and that's why this is my king many people call aventus the king with respect to aventus i was gonna put it in this list but i felt like comparison wise this is a classic it's like since it's been released there's nothing uh, more beautiful than this if you can rock it if you do not know how to rock this this fragrance is gonna wear you <laughs> one of the most uh, gutsy and polarizing as well as daring fragrance remains the most masculine fragrance in my world this is why i sell kuros and that's my list for you guys check it out do let me know which ones do you like and suggest to other people so they can try and if i missed out in favorite fragrance of yours i'm really sorry about that but today's picks were these fragrances maybe next time they will change everybody take care have a nice day enjoy weekend if you're in bangladesh see you soon bye bye